problem number 11, wastewater collection book at sewergeek.com. Problem says if a sewer must have a flow rate of 2.5 mgd with a velocity between 2.3 feet per second and 2.8 feet per second, what size must the sewer be? Well, this particular question is looking for a pipe that's going to the pipe size is going to be between these two ranges and that's where it has to be so if you look at these two velocities and it's sort of like if you look at it like a fire hose if you squeeze the fire hose down the velocity comes out faster if you make the orifice smaller the velocity is going to come out faster so the faster velocity is going to be the smaller of the two pipe sizes so the slower velocity is going to be a larger pipe size. And if I made the pipe smaller, the velocity will pick up. And this is, so this is going to be the minimum pipe size and the maximum velocity. And this will be the maximum pipe size to stay with the minimum velocity. So what I like to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to pick the pipe size based on the minimum velocity and then we'll see where we're at and with these questions a lot of times in the answer choices they know you're going to do something wrong so they'll throw that out there so you make sure you pick the wrong answer and if you look at these answers you have 15 inch and 16 inch they're right next to each other actually what I believe is going to happen when we finish this problem is we're going to get an answer of a pipe size of about 15 and a half inches for the minimum. So the minimum is going to be 15 and a half inches. So it may, maybe it's even 15.2, so it's even closer to 15. So it makes you want to pick 15. The problem with that is if it's 15.00001, 15 is not big enough. It won't work. If it's any more than 15, you'll have to go the next size up, which is 16. So what's probably going to happen, it's going to be 15 and a half or less, or more than 15. So I'll grab that one. So I think I can already say that this question is going to be A. But we have to do the math so we're sure of it. So then the first step now is to uh, simplify the problem. We have, we're going to put these things in similar units. I'm going to put this, this is a velocities in feet per second, so I'm going to change this to units with feet in it and that's going to use this formula which is feet cubed per second equals 1.55 times mgd so that's going to be 1.55 times the 2.5 mgd so I'm just going to throw that in there 2.5 mgd and I'll do that in my calculator which should be a little more than three, three and a half, almost four. And it's a good idea to look at this and make sure and take a guess at what it should be. So if you fat finger the calculator, it's not a big deal. So 1.55 times 2.5 is going to give me 3.875 feet per second. Cubic feet per second, sorry. So what I'll do is I'll just get rid of this 2.5 mgd and I'm going to make it 3.875 feet cubed per second. So now my problem reads a little simpler. Sewer must have a flow rate of 3.875 cubic feet per second with a velocity between 2.3 and 2.8 feet per second. I'm going to stick with the minimum, the maximum velocity for the minimum pipe, pipe size for the moment and I need another formula. So what I need is to get the diameter of the pipe. And so I'm going to need the formula area, which in this case is going to be in feet squared, equals diameter squared times 0.785. Well, I don't have the diameter, so I need something else to get the area. And that's this formula cubic feet per second equals feet squared 
times feet per second, which is the Q equals AV. If you remember from earlier, Q flow equals area times velocity. There's the Q, which is in cubic feet per second. My area is in feet squared, and my velocity is in feet per second. In the wastewater, wastewater collection book at sewergeek.com, in the first couple of pages, is a list of all the formulas that you'll need, and you should memorize these and know what they're for. Uh, if I don't already have it at the time of this, this video goes on, I will have one that explains the formulas and where they come from. That you can go back and find that video. So I won't have to keep explaining this formula over and over again. If you haven't seen it, go back in the book and look at it and learn these. So I'm going to go 3.875 feet per second. 3.875 feet cubed per second equals feet squared. I don't have it times feet per second, which I do, it's 2.8. And so what that's going to be is I want to get this feet squared by itself, so I'm going to take 2.8, move it over here, divide it, because I would divide both sides by 2.8, and I'm not going to bother, I'll just kill it. 2.8 feet per second. And so the seconds are going to cancel out, I'm going to end up with feet squared, so it's going to be 3.875 divided by 2.8. 3.875 is already in my calculator, so I'll just go divide it by 2.8. And I should get 1.38. So that's going to equal 1.38 feet squared. And that's the area, because the area is in square feet. So now I have something I can stick in this formula. So I'm going to go ahead and say 1.38 feet squared equals diameter squared times 0.785 because that's what the area is 1.38 feet squared so I just replaced it with that and then I do the same thing start reducing things out I want to get the diameter squared by itself eventually I want to get the diameter squared by the diameter by itself but one step at a time I'm going to take 0.785 move it over here and I should get something close to 3 or 4 1.38 divided by 0.785 the number should go up and it's in that calculator so I'm just going to go divide it by 0 0.785 1.76 1 1.76 feet squared equals diameter squared all I did now is turn it from a round pipe into a square pipe but now I have to get the uh, diameter. In this case, length and height would be the same. So I have to do the opposite. It's diameter squared. I want to get rid of the square. So I have to square root both sides, basically. Or just square root of 1.76 feet squared equals diameter. So I'm going to go... This calculator is not going to like this, so I'm just going to punch the number in again. I'll clear it square root 1.76 and that's going to give me 1.32 1 1.32 feet equals diameter well I want it in inches so I'm going to go times 12 inches per foot times 12 and that's going to give me 15.92 inches and that's the minimum pipe size because that's what we're working on so now I'm going to just come up here 15.92 inches is the minimum so we know that 15 already won't work 12 won't work they're under 15 I'm done with the problem actually because it's between 15 and 16 inches but there's a remote chance that this 2.3 feet per second could be more than 16 so you'd have to just to be on the safe side we're gonna go ahead and do the second half of the problem using a different velocity we're gonna use the slower velocity so I'm not gonna redo the whole problem again where I put in 2.8 feet per second I'm gonna start back again 
with that formula. So where I left off was 3.875 cubic feet per second equals feet squared times the new velocity 2.3 2.3 feet per second. And I'm going to do the same thing as I'm going to reduce the problem down divide both sides by 2.3 feet per second so this will go away and I divide this by 2.3 feet per second units cancel out and give me feet squared so I'm going to do it again 3.875 divided by 2.3 feet per second is going to give me 1.68 feet squared and that's going to be the area. 1.68 equals feet squared. So now I'm going to plug the same thing right back in the area formula. 1.68 feet squared equals diameter squared times 0.785. And just reduce this problem down again. Divide both sides by 0.785. And I've got it in my calculator already, so I'm going to go divide it by 0.785. And that's going to give me 2.146. 2.15 is fair enough, equals diameter squared. So now I want to do the same thing. Get rid of the square root, or get rid of the squared, so i got a square root both sides. Square root of 2.15 equals, well I just square rooting will just make that go away equals diameter so I'm going to go square root 2.15 and that's going to give me 1.46 1.47 we'll round it up with it because it's 466 feet I'll put the feet in there equals diameter I lost my units in there I should have kept feet squared and it was feet squared here until I square rooted it and then it went away so now I'm going to go times 12 inches per foot. And that's going to be 17.59 inches is the maximum pipe size. So my pipe size is going to be 15.92 inches to 17.59 inches. So 18 would actually be too big because the velocity would slow down below 2.3 feet per second. So the answer is still 16 inches. I rarely do the second part. I pick the maximum and go with that. But to be on the safe side, it's not a bad idea to do the second part.